This is Frank DeMora from the End Times Research Ministry. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I'm covering the news that relates to Bible prophecy. I'm connecting the dots for those people who may not know anything about Bible prophecy or those Christians who really aren't on the watch as they're supposed to be. And I'm hoping that my work will help you see that we are definitely in the last days and the signs that Jesus has given to us in his warnings are right in front of us. So today I want to cover a few topics here. And the first one has to do with the birds, the fish, and the animals dying. Those of you who have been coming to my YouTube channel, you understand that I'm keeping up to date on the reports that are coming in concerning the mass numbers of either the birds, the fish, or the animals that are dying off. And if you don't know anything about Bible prophecy, let me give you one scripture found in Hosea chapter 4 verses 1 through 3 where the Lord shows us that the birds, the fish, and the animals are going to be dying off. It says, There is no faithfulness, no love, no acknowledgement of God in the land. There is only cursing, lying, and murder, stealing, and adultery. They break all bounds, and bloodshed follows bloodshed. Because of this, the land mourns, and all who live in it waste away. The beasts of the field, that's the animals, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea are dying, and that's exactly what we're seeing right now in our generation and it just so happens that it is happening all at the same time as we're seeing all of the other prophecies that jesus told us that we would see in one single generation this has never happened before so let's take a look at what has happened since my last update and i'll be covering from january the 12th through january the 13th now before we get to the update let me just inform those who may just found my YouTube channel that you can get my latest book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, at my website. All you have to do is to scroll down and you'll see right here a link. All you do is click that link. You'll see the last update that I put up was January the 4th of 2016, so it is current. You'll be able to download all of the information about the birds, fish, and the animals dying, and you'll be able to hit other topics as well, as you can see from my End Times Research post. Now, to the current news. Let's turn our attention to Nigeria, January the 12th, 2016. You'll see here that, again, another bird flu disease outbreak that hit there in Nigeria. Listen to the report. The outbreaks of birds flu earlier reported in Kano State is now confirmed in farms in Kuj, Abuja and Plateau State affecting over 700,000 birds. The Director General of Poultry Association of Nigeria, Han, Dr. Omolo KPA told Daily Trust that the technical team of veterinarians from the FCT Department of Agriculture and the Department of Veterinary Services of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture has been on ground working both day and night to ensuring that the entire population of birds about 700,000 in the farm is depopulated. When you talk about the birth pains that Jesus warned about in Mark 13 8. Listen to this next sentence. The outbreak in Kujabuja, which involves 600 to 700 birds in one farm, is the worst ever recorded by a single investor in recent years in Nigeria. Now I move to India, January the 12th, 2016. You see in pictures, over 100 whales washed ashore on TN coast, 45 dead. At least 45 whales died after they washed ashore Monday night on the beach in Tamil Nadu's Tutikoran district, officials said on Tuesday with experts attributing the deaths to a possible underwater disturbance like an earthquake or volcano. So at this point, they're really not sure what caused another group of massive whales to perish. Now turn attention to Scotland, January 13th, 2016. You'll see farmers to kill 40,000 chickens amid new bird flu scare. A case of H5N1 avian influenza potentially fatal to both birds and humans was discovered at Craigie's 
poultry farm in Favy. The calls that take place today and strict controls have been placed on the movement of poultry, eggs, manure, and chicken carcasses. So once again, a common occurrence. More bird flus and thousands of chickens have to be culled or killed. Now I'm going to go back to the prophecy in Hosea chapter 4 for a second, which I just gave to about the birds, the fish, and the animals dying. I want to cover something else inside of this prophecy. And I think that if you watched the Golden Globe a couple of days ago, this may open your eyes a little bit to the warnings we see from our Lord and our God. And it has to do with cursing. When you look down, you'll see in that scripture that I read before, it says there is only cursing. That's one of the signs of the last days. Now, if you read the Daily Mail, look at the headline. Was this the most foul mouth Golden Globes yet? And was and was all the free booze to blame? Bleepers on overtime as Amy Schumer utters the C word and Jonah Hill drops the F bomb. Here's a little preview from Inside Edition. But just so that you understand that the things that our Lord told us about, it's in the news. And it's happening now. As I said, as all the rest of the prophecies at the same time. What a wild night at the Golden Globes. It's being called the most foul-mouthed Globes ever. The NBC censor hit the mute button nine times. Jonah Hill channeling the angry bear from The Revenant was too rude for TV. Yeah. Gave it to the lead actor and the supporting actor sits there in the back. And what did Ricky Gervais say to Mel Gibson? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. I think we all want the answer to this. Mm -hmm. Check out the reaction from the good wife, okay, Alan Cummings. So what did he say? He asked him, what the blank does sugar blank mean anyway? A reference to that infamous 2006 traffic stop. Huh. Well, Jim called it. The teleprompter failed and Jamie was left hanging in the wind. <laughs> Dude, who's typing? So there you have it. Just a sample of the cursing. And of course, Hollywood has a lot of impact in our society, especially with the younger generation who are mimicking these Hollywood actors and actresses. And it's definitely showing up in our society. And it's very doubtful that these actors and actresses even know about the warning about the last days in the cursing. Now let me just fill you in on two of the other signs that the Lord gave to us. In Luke 21, 11, he tells us about the great earthquakes that will be coming in the last days, along with these other signs, as you can see here, where it talks about the famines and the pestilence. And of course, that would be the diseases and the fearful sights and the great signs from heaven. But then also in Mark 13, 8, he talks about the birth pangs. You could see at the last part where it says these are the beginning of sorrows. In the Greek, that means birth pangs. So part of the Bible prophecy of the last days, the signs, had to do with these great earthquakes that would be coming and it would be happening more intense or it was going to happen just as a woman would labor. So we would see him coming faster and faster until the child was delivered. In this case, we know the deliverance would be coming from Christ. He was given to us as a child, but now he is the king, and he promised he's coming back, and he's going to fulfill that promise. So take a look at the latest earthquake, a mega quake that just hit. So first of all, let me show you on January 11th, where Rutgers reported about this magnitude 6.1 quake that strikes west of Hokkaido, Japan. This came from the USGS. Now, many of these larger earthquakes will produce tsunamis, and in this case it says the Japan Meteorological Agency said that the earthquake had only achieved a maximum seismic intensity of three at the surface on the land, so it wasn't that bad. But you're going to see in the near future, you're going to see a lot more of these, and they will generate these tsunamis that we have seen in the past. January the 11th, 2016, in the central parts of Asia, a massive 6.9 magnitude earthquake struck Indonesia, just northwest of the Malacca Islands. The United States Geological Survey said the quake was 102 kilometer deep. 
There was another earthquake on January 11th, 2016. Now, today, January the 13th of 2016, there was another earthquake that hit that was also very strong. It was a 5.8. This earthquake hit Jammu and Kashmir, and here's some news about it. Srinagar, an earthquake of 5.8 magnitude on the Richter scale jolted Jammu and Kashmir on Wednesday, forcing panicky residents in various cities and towns to run out of their homes onto the streets. The quake of one. 34 a.m. today, Wednesday, had its epicenter in the Hindu Kish Mountains in Afghanistan at a depth of 220 kilometers, local meteorological department director Sonam Lotus told Ian's in Srinagar. No loss of life or damage to property has so far been reported from anywhere in the state.